I'm Selena Fennick and I'm going to show you how to make some of my DIY darling dolls. Today I'm working on this new princess pattern. The first step is to cut the pattern out of course. So here we have a cutting mat and the fabric sheet. Uh, scissors are fine but I prefer to use a rotary cutter. I find it makes really quick work of cutting the pattern out. My rotary cutter is getting a little bit blunt um, but if you keep them sharp they cut really really quickly. Here we go. There's our first piece cut out. All of the hem is built into the design itself, so you cut right up to the edge of all of the pieces. Let's get all of them cut out now. And there we have all the pieces ready to start sewing. For this type of pattern we start with the head, the arms and the legs, get those finished and stuffed before we sew the body. I've put just a couple of pins into the head, back and front sides facing in. Uh, we're going to sew all the way around the head and then we will cut a small hole in the back and stuff it through that. For my sewing machine I've got it set to a very short stitch length. and. That way, when we come to stuffing it, the pressure of the stuffing won't push too much on the stitching and break it open. The legs are pretty easy, they're just a straight sew, leaving the top open, so I'm not going to bother pinning those because I'm a bit lazy like that. Slower around the curve at the bottom. up to turn whenever you need to. Okay, here is the head and the legs and the arms all sewn. So we're going to start working on turning and stuffing these. So trim off any remaining uh, threads and then we're going to clip the corners so that means we're going to cut inwards just around where there's any bends like this being careful not to cut through your stitches of course and this is what's going to help the fabric turn out nicely rather than getting um, any big wrinkles and malformations in it once it's turned the way I turn things out is I use this long uh, bris bristle brush which I also use for stuffing but for turning out I use the smooth end I give the fabric a little bit of a, a twist with my fingers and then we push it like that until it goes through and then you just keep on pushing and then it's all turned out give it a little bit of a, a soft push we don't want to push it too hard we don't want to go all the way through our stitches at all and there we have one leg turned out. I'm going to start stuffing this one to show you how I stuff as well. We take some stuffing, start off with just small pieces. We're going to use the bristle brush end this time because the bristles sort of hold onto the fibres of the stuffing and make it easier to push it in. Stuffing is one of the parts that can take the longest if you do it right because you only want to use small bits at a time rather than trying to force too much in at once. If it gets a bit lumpy, I find just giving them a bit of a roll like that, it helps move the stuffing around. This is just a recycled uh, polyfill fibre. It means it's just a synthetic fibre that was made out of old, um, old drink bottles and things like that. I like to use it because it's got quite a nice uh, spring to it, nice sort of puffiness, and it's very easy to work with. 
So I've filled the leg up to about this point. And you don't want to fill it much further than that because we're going to be sewing through the top at a later point. Let's do the rest. Sometimes you can use a pinking shears instead of cutting into the corners. For simple bends and things like this, it works just as well. is slightly different since we need to cut it open to enable, in order to uh, stuff it. Let's just trim off those. So obviously you can see the face through there. We don't want to cut through the face. We're going to turn it over to the back. You can see the bottom of the hairline is about there and that's around where we want to cut. So we've cut at the bottom of the hairline here. We've I pulled the fabric away like this so that the face wasn't going to be cut. Gave it a quick snip expanded it out and then cut the T-shape. Now I've started clipping these edges here. I do lots of little clippings in for the head because I like them to be as smooth as possible. Let's keep going. The head will be fairly easy to stuff with just with your fingers so just start pushing the stuffing in. As you can see, there's a fair bit of stuffing in here now. So we've got a pretty good shape through here, but I find you can just keep on going. And you need lots of stuffing in this chin area. So what we're going to do, you might think that there's not a lot of space there, but you just sort of push in and hook your finger under like that. And you can just keep on pushing more and more stuffing in until it's nice and firm throughout the chin area. See how firm that is in there now? That's the headpiece done. So the next step, we're going to sew the arms into the body. You can also attach the arms afterwards if you want to, but to make a nice strong doll that won't have arms and things falling off because they've been hand sewed on, sewing them into the body like this is a great way to do it. Now what we've got here, we've got the side of the body comes up, then we go across for the shoulder then up the neck. I think the arms look best when they sit just at that corner there. So we're going to place them here, we're going to pin them in and then we sew up and all the way around the body. You want them to come right off the edge here so that there's a lot of overhang to make sure they're well sewn in. There's our doll sandwich. So now we're sewing around the body. This bit can be a little bit tricky but you just go slowly and it'll all work out. A nice sharp corner on the shoulder. come a bit close here so we're just going to fix that up. And again we're going to just 
trim all of those corners in, clip them in. And then we turn it out. You can just grab onto those arms, give it a little pull, and then you can use the brush to push the neck out the rest of the way. There we go. So the next step is to hem the dress. You don't have to, if you wanted to, you could just use pinking shears or something to give it a nice decorative edge. But I like to just hem it in a little bit. I just give it a single hem like this. There we go. The next step with this sort of doll is to stuff the body. Which is pretty easy since it's a very big opening for this one. You want to get the neck very firm, so try and squeeze as much stuffing into there as you can because that's got to hold up the head. And that's about as far as we'll go with the stuffing for the body. Just make sure that it's nice and smooth. So you only want to be stuffing up to about that point so that you can fold it over here and that's where we're going to be sewing across. So we put the legs in, you just want to slide them up so that a lot of, large part of that unfilled area is right up inside. And just check them for length, make sure that they're even. And that they're a length that you like. Sometimes you could pull them out a little bit longer or push them in so that they're a little bit shorter. It's about where I want them. So you can see just in there how they're pressed up into the stuffing. I'm just going to put one piece through that and then sew straight across the middle. Now you might want to change to a clear thread or a matching colour thread for this step. But what we're going to do, make sure that we're on a nice strong small close together stitch. And we're just going to sew carefully straight across. Now we're on our final stage of making our doll and that is sewing the head on. And so let's just have a quick look first. You just push the neck right up into that section there. Move it around until we find the spot that we like the most. And that's about how she's going to look. You can pin that on if you want, but most of the time, as long as the stuffing is nice and firm, it should hold into place just fine. So I'm just going to take that back off and show you how we start off. I'm just going to pretty quickly anchor a stitch in here. It doesn't matter if the thread and stuff is still sewing or if it's messy because it'll be up inside the head. I'm using a nice strong thread here. You can use something that's a bit more flesh coloured but the stitching should be invisible so it doesn't really matter. Let's put the head back into position. And then we're going to use the ladder stitch to close up all the way around. The ladder stitch means we go in and then out through the same side. Careful of your string twisting up. And then again we go straight across to the other side of the fabric. We go in and out the same side. Oops. So that when you pull it, it closes up 
and should be mostly invisible. So I keep doing that all the way around. Straight across again to the other side. You can give it a little bit of a push. Make sure the fabric is all in the right place. In and then out. Now after I've done a few stitches, I like to go backwards one. This just makes it a little bit stronger. Keeps the stitches pulled in nicely. Yeah, that's been sewn all the way around now. I'm happy with the position. So a few more stitches to make sure that's nice and secure. So my camera cut out, so we missed the last step of sewing around here. Uh, so I'll just show you the last thing I do. So imagine this is just been sewn up and that's all anchored off and finished. The last thing I'll do is I'll put one last stitch up and bring it out away away from where your stitch was and then cut it off there and then that simply disappears and you're left with a nice neat finish. So that is the finished DIY Darling Doll.